Saturday morning, the Trojan cross country teams competed in the conference championships and had the home field advantage. The women's team finished the event in eighth place while the men were in ninth. And according to head coach Jeff Jenkins, the top performers for the Trojans came as no surprise. We were led by Enoch and Julia again, which was good to see them stepping up and, and do what they've been doing all season long and, and since the start of their career here at Troy. Julia had a great race. She put herself in position to be all conference. Un unfortunately, the, with the new teams added in our conference, it made it difficult for her to be in that top 15. She did finish 22nd. Enoch uh, ran a little bit slower time than we ran at Cocho. He was in the race in, in position to be all conference all the way up into the last two miles. and. He just really fell, fell off, and I think you know it's just his summer training really caught up with him. He didn't really have the fitness to, to make it through the whole race in this late in the season. The Trojans ran this course in October at the Cocho Invitational, and many athletes saw improvements over their previous times. Our strategy in this race was, was to run point to point, and what I mean by that is you're not necessarily trying to go from the start to the finish, and you're not thinking about the whole race. You're breaking it down into little sections. So the first thing I told him was to get to mile in a good place. After they get to the mile, I told him to focus on the 2K, then the 3K, then the two mile and so on and so forth all the way through the race and just to get to that next point and I think everybody did a pretty good job of that. Playing host to championship events gives Troy University the opportunity to showcase its facilities and director of athletics John Hartwell believes that can be beneficial in several ways. Not only do you have you know coaches from the other institutions but administrators and certainly the student athletes that may not have been to campus before and you know they'll go back to their campuses and say wow you know look at the facilities that Troy has and you know even from a recruiting standpoint because some of these uh, men and women have younger brothers and sisters who may be cross country runners and they may say hey you know what a beautiful place and certainly the weather cooperated with us today we have chamber of commerce weather so uh, you, you know all in the big picture it's a great event for us and while events like this may be a recruiting tool Jenkins says this championship was a building block for his underclassmen. You know, for these freshmen on the men's side, uh, six freshmen in the top seven, on the women's side, five freshmen in the top seven, it's good for them to get the experience in this caliber of a meet and to see what it's like to be running a Sunbelt Championships like they're going to be doing for the next three years. So, you know, right now we're 52 weeks away from the 2014 Sunbelt Championships, and that's what we're going for. Danielle Percival, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.